All right, you little shits, sit down. I got a story I want to tell you. It's about my experience that I had early this week with the Girl Scouts. Dun, dun, dun. Yeah, anybody who knows anything about Girl Scouts know that they are some of the most evil people in the world. And I'm going to tell you why. So on this particular day, I was heading to Walmart because I was on my way to work, you know, and I thought I, should, I thought I wanted to, uh, you know, go by Walmart and then, you know, pick some things up, you know, for my lunch, you know, because you get hungry on a lunch break. So as I decided that I was going to Walmart, of course, you know, there's this family and they got this table set up. Now we already know what this is, especially if you ever been confronted with this type of situation before. You know, understand that this is serious business. You, you're dealing with the mob. <laughs> the guy's dealing with the mob, pretty much. And by you dealing with the mob, there's certain things that you got to do to be knowing yourself while around them. Before this moment has happened, mind you, I'm a, I've always been a person to think ahead. I never got caught up in anything that I didn't want to do because I've heard testimonials from other people as to how not to go about doing these things if you don't want to get involved in it. And one of the things that I've always done to avoid Girl Scouts is I learned early on that you just walk past them. You have to be rude because they smile, they cute, and unless you develop an intolerance to that, your ass is caught. You're caught. Because once they get you, they got you. I mean, it's a wrap after that. You are a victim of the Girl Scout psyche. Or brainwashing, I guess you would say. Because as I'm walking into the Walmart, you know, again, before this, I never thought that the day would come when I would actually buy a box of Girl Scout cookies. And, because I always followed this one ill-mannered rule. Always, always, if you never want to buy a box of Girl Scout cookies, always avoid eye contact with the Girl Scouts. That is the primary rule. Always avoid eye contact, because once, once you make eye contact, man, they got you. They got you. And you got some of them little girls, man, they gangsta as fuck. <laughs> Let me just tell you how this and my situation happened. So I'm walking towards the store. You know, I see the table right there. Mind you, I already have a sweet tooth as I'm walking into Walmart. So that didn't help the situation. So I'm walking by, you know, I'm walking like this, you know. You know, I'm just, you know, keep my head down. Excuse me, sir, would you like to buy some Girl Scout cookies? No, no, I'm good. The little girl came from around the table. Because I'm assuming that they thought I didn't hear them. She came from around the table. Stood right in front of me. On some gangster shit. Like, motherfucker, you gonna buy these cookies. <laughs> and she just stood right in front of me. He's like, excuse me, sir. Would you like to buy some Girl Scout cookies? And I remember what I said about the ill-mannered rule. Always avoid eye contact. However, when it gets to the point when they are willing to walk faster than you to get in front of you as you're walking into the store, then... You pretty much, they pretty much got you in their field of vision. And, um, you know, once they got you, man, they got you. As soon as you make eye contact, at that point, man, you gotta buy something. You gotta buy something. There's no avoiding it after that. I mean, honestly. Like, would you look at a little girl, like, uh, again, uh, like I said, if you're intolerant to it, because some of us, you know, we do build an immunity to the cuteness, and we can just be mean to them, which probably for you, but some of us don't have that experience yet. You know, I'll, I've always avoided the Girl Scouts. <laughs> I've always avoided them, because I always had this feeling that once I had me a box of them Girl Scout cookies, it's a wrap. It's a wrap after that. You know, because once they get you, they got you. <laughs> And she just walked into my line of vision, and you know, once I got that eye contact with her, it was just like, all right, let me see what you 
you got. Let's see, you got some oars, thin nets, tag alongs. It doesn't help that I wanted peanut butter and chocolate already. Some type of peanut, some, something sweet that's, that has peanut butter and chocolate. So I've seen the tag alongs. Now mind you, even though I never bought Girl Scout cookies, I've always seen, you know, commercials, especially back when I lived in Louisiana, of Girl Scouts, you know, having these cookies and, the, you know, like the kind of cookies that they sell. And I just, um, you know, I just seen them and I was just like, you know, one of these days I'm going to try some tag alongs. This was long ago. This was before I decided I wasn't going to, you know, bother with buying Girl Scout cookies. I was young and I was dumb at that time, so, yeah. But I seen the tag alongs on the table. I asked them how much they were. And I just took one deep breath and I was like, please don't buy the cookies, please don't buy the cookies, please don't buy the cookies, don't buy the cookies. And I'm thinking this in the back of my mind as I'm taking a deep breath. The split second I exhale, please don't buy the cookies, please don't buy the cookies, I'll be right back out. <laughs> Change. Dude, and those tag alongs were good. They were good. I mean, it satisfied my sweet tooth. I'm going to just say that at this point, the only way I will not buy Girl Scout cookies, pretty much, is is I just got to avoid the Girl Scouts all together. I just got to avoid them all together. Because these are like the mob. I'm telling you, they like the mob. They are every fucking where. You cannot avoid the Girl Scouts. Every supermarket you go to, every, you know, GameStop you go to, yeah, they watch it. <laughs> they watch it. So, that's just my experience, man. The new Girl Scouts evil as hell. Like... Because once they get you in with their cuteness, man, it's a wrap. Like, you know, th them cookies are expensive. And they good as fuck, too. Bruh, let me tell you. I, I bought a box at 9 o'clock. That whole box was going by 9.03. It, it was a wrap after that. Like, I just... <sighs> Damn them Girl Scouts. <sighs>